I have some making them crazy. Okay. <clears throat> and this was written. Uh, what was it? Calabine High, uh, High School. The mass, the mass murder. And uh, kids went in there and shot up a cafeteria. They were being bullied by the people in the football team. So what do they do? They walk into a cafeteria and kill a bunch of people. We are all born as an original human being with the ability to cry, to see, to hear, and do what all other babies can do. Grow. And it's painful to grow. Didn't you cry when you don't remember crying as your body expanded? Oh, those cells. Well, we don't notice it now, but when we were young, it's all new to us. You know. In those first few years, humans need adults to take care of them. Yes, mommy had to feed me. Mommy had to clean up my poop. Mommy, what's this? Don't eat it, she says. Oh, whatever. <laughs> uh, we are to be fed. We are to going to be held by my mother or my father. To give us that human warmth. Yeah, well, yeah, there's, it's very important, yeah. It's like an animal being snuggling up, say a dog or a cat snuggling up to a parent. Or in my case, cats snuggling up to me. Butting my, I have two cats, so they, they butt my head. They crawl up to me. <sighs> they breathe in my face. I, I hope I don't have a plague. <sighs> yes, and it, mothers give you that 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 that. It's not really called love, but it gives you that feeling that you belong to somebody. And in the case, your parents love you or hold you and say yes and praise you and do you great great things, and that's that's pretty assuring. Even though you don't th recognize it, it's pretty ensuring. And uh, if all goes well, the child will copy the good side of their parents. And those critical years, those those first, you know, dozen years before you start to learn to, well, the first couple of years, you, you that thing, then you're round three, you say, no! And then because your mother comes along and says, don't eat the poop. Don't put that in your mouth. Don't do that. Keep your tongue out of the electric socket. Okay. Children do stupid things. My parents didn't have alcohol around, so I didn't learn how to drink alcohol when I was young. My parents didn't smoke, so I didn't learn to eat cigarette butts when I was young. My mother didn't allow, allow me to eat paint chips, I think. <clears throat> Those are not good to eat. Yes, considering all the parents that do allow their children to eat paint chips. And how to get along with your sisters and brothers. That was a challenge too. Squirt. And you learn to get along with others. That's that's a challenge too. You get along with your brothers and sisters. That's good. You get along with a cat and dogs. That's good. You you accept the cat that cat that what's in the cat's bowl, what's in the cat's and water dish, or what's in the dog's bowl, or what's in the dog's water dish is for the dog, not for you. No, 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 no. You don't eat the dry food. No, no, that's not candy. You no, no, no. You don't do that. <clears throat> Most of the time, a baby moves towards stages toward the uh, being an adult, repeating the actions of the parent, and one day, in a copy of the parent to be a parent. Yes, and how you teach your children to the same things that you were taught. Don't play with your poop. And all the best plans can go wrong. Not with me. Well, maybe. Yes. No. Hmm. 
I guess I made it this far, so I haven't killed myself yet. Hmm. Well, I'm looking for that thing to kill myself. You know, I hate to see blood. How can I do it without blood? Hmm. There's illegal drugs. That seems to be a good one. You can smoke over 40 years. That's lung cancer. Mouth cancer, tongue cancer. Mm, yes. Drink your liver up. That's that's always a good one. Go go to the uh, local forest preserve and pick mushrooms. You know, one of the things I have the best laid plans of mice and men. You can't. You, a child cannot pick their parents. And there's some pretty terrible parents out there. I mean, you got mothers who, you know, get pregnant and have no desire to, for the baby. You know, baby's crying, so what? Baby's in their poop, so what? Baby's in their urine, so what? You know, I like to see a lot of women should not be mothers. A lot of guys should not be fathers. Planned Parenthood should be, have done a better job. The less we, you know, you know. Actually, if it was plan stages, a lot of us would not be born. Why were you born? Oh, I think the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Hey, Dad, starting a family. Really? Mom, why do I have all these? Why don't we have all those? Well, it's, um, it's, um, yeah. Yeah, and I have it in those first few years a child play, learns to play with others. They either mesh in or, as the old saying, if you can't mesh in with your neighbors, uh, Either you like to read a lot, watch TV a lot by yourself, or you got problems. Yeah, yeah. A lot of children just don't mesh in. And uh, that, that's a problem. Uh, and you, I knew a girl a little child and uh, she had Willie's syndrome I, I found that out a lot, long time a lot after I knew her and she would hear a pin drop across the room super hearing high pitched sounds uh, they can hear voices in all oh, across a crowded room. You you learn that there's something wrong between the ears, and the ears are super sen sensitive. The skin is super sensitive. But uh, the ch the child could hear people talk about her. Mm, but that thing. And there is this other little problem. Teachers are always on alert for children that don't seem to fit in. If they stand alone by themselves, well, they're encouraged to join the baseball, the football. And, and me, I get to trip over my own feet. And that's, that was a great one. Catch the ball. Where? Plop. Ouch. Or the old saying, hey, look at this, Richard. Let's go tackle him. Yes, they throw me the ball and I'm the guy who become part of the ball. He's tackled. That hurt. Yes, that did hurt. There's that other problem. Did you have problems at home? No, I had problems at school. You know, I'm the guy they bullied around. I'm the guy they, they could, could push around until they touched my sister. And then I reacted violently. Uh-huh. I went over and kicked a guy between his legs. Ooh, yes. If you're a guy, you understand. I went over and kicked a guy between his legs. And that 
that sent me to the uh, principal's office. I said, he, he hurt my sister. He did what? He hurt my sister. Oh, no, no, you didn't hurt your sister. You hurt my sister. You do that again. I want to kick you again. Well, I got that bad reputation of not to be picked on. Not much. But, of course, you know, some of these children who are bullies are bullied at home. They get bullied by their brothers and sisters. They get bullied by their parents as being totally no good of anything. That hurts a lot for a child if you're told you're a worthless piece of crap. Sorry about the word crap, but it is. And you, you meet those uh, children as a child. You meet them, and there's no loving here, right? Guy, guy next door in the next apartment. His parents basically, it was rough for him growing up. His parents would slug him. His father would slug him. For what reason? Just to slug him. I don't know. He, he was a drunk, so he sl slug him. And the ki kid, a nice guy, he got killed, killed in a street gang fight. Oh, and the father? The mother had, had uh, breast cancer, and he, her father would not let her go to, to a doctor to see. Finally, she went to a doctor for that thing. And the guy looked at her and says, we can't do a thing for you. You'll be dead in six months. She was dead in four. And the problem of a child being abused at home and takes it out on her brother or sister or classmates, if they have pets at home, they will take it out on the pet, a cat or a dog, who is, can't defend themselves. I don't like people like that. I react very violently to people who have hurt animals. I understand hunting, but I don't understand people with pets hurting them, the pets. That really makes me mad and anti-American. Anti Really anti-American. And I'm very sure I got a lot of friends who do say the same thing. Wild animals. I have no problem with that. The birds and the, the bees and all the other thing. Bees. I miss my pummel bees. Hmm. Used to have them in the basement. Now I have bats in the belfry. But, um... Uh, and today, the child is basically... They look around, you know, they, if they see a bully bullying another child, they come to the child's aid and they tell, tell the bully, don't do that. But the problem with bullies and that and, and their parents, if, if these kids are having a rough time at home, they're taking it out on everything else. I mean, if they're taking it out on their, their cat and dog at home or, or other pets and that, they're taking it out on the wildlife in the neighborhood. And it is not unusual to see wildlife being murdered, butchered, slaughtered, by some kid in the neighborhood. Well, and I've got to understand about that kid. That kid is like the kid who in Texas last week, let's say is, this is the 29th of um, May, this last week, went into a school and killed all those students, babies, with an assault weapon, you want to know what an assault weapon can do, that 223 can do? Mush, mush, mush. And then when the kids were pulled to the doctors, the doctors vomited the scene. And the kid, this child with an AK-40, well, assault weapon, a lot of other things. You know, he would make a good serial killer. Yeah. He'd also make a good killer in the U.S. military if he didn't kill somebody in the military first. That's that's one other problem. He'd make a great serial killer in a war. I would like to know what kind of video games he was playing. Well, that has a good influence on a mentally challenged person. But um, they're going to take this guy apart after he's dead. Really take him, his family apart, and really look at this guy. I bet some psychiatrists are going to write books on this guy. Uh, 
we humans. Well, at least I haven't killed anybody lately. I haven't tried to kill myself lately either. Hmm. I haven't seen anybody else kill each other either lately. Hmm. I don't know. I don't care. Well, I think that's about my 15 minutes. Give up. Goodbye. Up. Get some.